Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, I don't want you to buy another flashlight until you see this episode. Welcome back everybody, and thank you for sticking with me. So, surprisingly, a lot of my viewers, not all, but a lot, don't know the difference between a thrower flashlight, which is this one. This is the WowTech A4 versus a humongous, massive flood flashlight like the one my wife has, which is the TC20 by Night. And in this video, we're gonna explain the differences between each one, but we're also gonna see if they're ready for your bug out bags. Oh yeah, these bad boys are gonna have to pass some really hardcore testing. So a lot of my viewers, like I said, they don't know the difference. And for a while, a few years back, I didn't know the difference either. So as we're kind of just on the trail, I figured I'd just use these flashlights organically instead of just being on the tabletop. I figured you guys would enjoy this more. This is the WowTac A4. And honestly, this is the exact same flashlight as the Catapult V6 that Thru Night makes because they're both technically supported from each other. However, the difference lies only in the battery operation. Uh, the A4 is a little more on the slender side. It's longer, I would say, for security purposes, it'd be more adequate. But I like the fact that I can stick two 35 milliamp batteries in here. And while we're walking through, you can see we get a pretty powerful beam of light showcasing through, but you don't get a whole lot of flood. And this is a floodlight. We don't have a really huge focus beam. It does exist, but we're getting a much bigger spill around the surrounding area than the beam out in the distance. Now, why I think this would be a better for people that are hikers, you're gonna walk around your neighborhood, you're walking the dog, you just see more of your surrounding area, your campsite. And you do still get a lot of distance. We are still getting a good 50, 60 yards out in front of us for the average person, that's plenty. Unless you're doing any type of search and rescue operations, I don't see an adequate need for a big throwing flashlight. However, I do like to see how far those things can reach and both flashlights are stouting they can reach on turbo up to 750 perceptible meters. All right, so right now I have the Catapult V6 by Thrunite. My wife's got the WowTac V6. Now we wanna show you guys, they're basically the exact same flashlight. You're gonna see some overlay footage while I'm talking. The LEDs, the way the lenses, the, the well inside are exactly the same. So we're gonna actually show you that the power modes are exactly the same. So we're gonna go to medium and they're basically identical. We're gonna jump into high. Like I said, the beams are identical. There's, there's literally no difference whatsoever. Then if we double tap, we're gonna be able to get to turbo. But all in all, these are identical beams. Now, some people will like the short compact nature with the 26650, the soda can kind of variety of this particular flashlight. They'll like this. And then there's other people that are gonna like the longer run times, the more battery capacity of the WowTech A4, which my wife has. And this flashlight I like because you can put two 18650s in there and with the 3,500 milliamp batteries, you can have 7,000 milliamps versus the maximum of these of only getting 5,000. So we're gonna use the WowTech A4, just walking and talking guys. So um, I know a lot of you guys saw that um, the video where my car broke down was the live stream. And then while we were there, while I was uh, waiting for some parts to come in, uh, we decided to just make a video while I was at AutoZone. I was stranded for like over an hour, so I decided just to make a video. You guys responded really, really well. Let's see if we could buy, uh, build a survival kit at AutoZone, which was freaking insane. But, um, so while we're walking, and that video was a lot of fun to shoot, but uh, while we're walking, if you look, as you can see, I can see what's in front of me, and I get a very soft glow of what's around me, but I'm not getting a huge scope of my surrounding area. For me, I prefer more flood. Maybe someone wants to know, like, what is that right there? But to me, it's more for like security or your search and rescue, you wanna reach out and touch something. And this is the flood. This just gives me more area. I get more of what I wanna see. All right guys, so we've got the Catapult V6 and the A4. And we're gonna start doing some testing. We're gonna do underwater testing. Now, why I'm excited about this is the Catapult V6 has a little micro USB flap. And every time, like I've noticed, every time we introduce that, 
things can potentially go wrong. Now we've turned these on, check the seals, make sure everything's good to go. We have the A4, which is IPX rated. So we're gonna go ahead and hit on the water and my son's gonna jump him in there. We're gonna have him dunked 20 minutes. Let's see how they last. Tear it away, bud. So now they're underwater. Now we play the waiting game. I don't know if you guys can see that. But while we're filming, this is the second snake we found in the water. But never know what you're gonna find underneath the bridge, baby. Well, so far through this test, I'm not actually not sure how long it's been. I'm gonna go check real quick. Um, but my trusty assistant. It's been almost 15 minutes underwater, and so far both these flashlights in about three feet of water. Uh, we've seen two snakes and no lights flickering, so that's pretty exciting. All right, so it's been well over 20 minutes, and uh, even though I advised against it, <laughs> my uh, awesome teenager, Ryan, decided he wants to go over a few flashlights, so we're gonna go and uh, check them all out and see how they're doing. All right, so he's coming out of the water. Is that cold? Uh, no. Okay. Well, so far, They turn off and on just fine. Let me see the other one. So far, this one also, the wow tack, cycles to the modes, just fine. So we got Ryan, he's gonna go up the ramp and now we're gonna do some drop testing. He's gonna go up there and we have both flashlights in the hand on low and he's gonna turn around and drop them from his shoulder height and we're gonna see how they take impacts. All right, so he's got these. He's gonna go back up and he's gonna drop them again. So he's gonna go and drop in three, Two, one. On concrete, that is a brutal, brutal, brutal test. In three, two, one. All right, both lights are still on. Let's go check them out. All right, so that we have the WowTac A4. This one definitely took a beating. Some serious scuff marks on it, but it can change modes. Just fine. This one, this is a tough cookie. Catapult V6, this one did turn off during the test. All right, so we're gonna take this out and reset the battery and check it again. All right, so we took the battery out and did some checking and I can't get this one to turn off. So upon further inspection, uh, we went through and I actually swapped out the battery from the TC20 just to do a little test and boom. The Catapult V6 actually works. We tested this on the charger and we tested this in that flashlight. This battery actually died. I don't know what happened, but I am glad to say these can easily be replaced. WowTac and 3Night typically have a really good warranty, but all in all, this flashlight and the WowTac A4 both passed all the tests. The WowTac A4 is still on, which is odd. And if you guys can answer why that happened, I'd like to know because I mean, realistically, this, these are pretty much the exact same flashlights. The heads are freaking identical. It's only the delivery system for how they shape the two for the battery that kind of differs. I mean, the heads, the projection, the light emission, the lumens, the LEDs they're using, exactly the same. So uh, yeah, hope you guys found this enlightening. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. But that just about it for now. And if you enjoyed the full field test, organic as all hell, an overview, definitely throw this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that just about it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.